There is a module called Easy Visuals made by Arc, and this module allows us to create these cool gradient animations for our text. And included in this module is all of these presets and also some frame outlines. In the description is a link to the dev form post going over this module and also where you can get the model on Roblox and you can also look at the GitHub. So when you have the module into your game, you want to have some UI in your game so we can actually test it out. So here I have two text labels and a frame to test this out. And we can look over all the animation presets. So you want to insert a local script wherever you want. I'm just going to put mine in the screen GUI. And we can first begin by getting our easy visuals module wherever it is at in your game. And then we also need to get our text labels. So now that we've gotten everything, we can begin by saying easy visuals dot new. And this takes the instance, which would be, you know, our text labels, our frames. And then we can also put in a preset or effect type. And we can also put in speed. Um, you know, it's optional. And we can also put in size. And there's also another one which I can't actually see right now. All right. So we're going to put in our just our first text label. And then we are going to put in an effect type, which is a string. So I'm going to put in here rainbow. And then the next thing is speed. I'm going to set that to 0.35. And I'm just going to leave the size as normal. And the other one, the optional one, as just normal. I'm just going to leave it blank. And if we go into our game, we see this text label has the rainbow effect with the certain speed that we gave it. And another cool thing is we don't just have to do the actual color, the text, the color of the text. We can also do an outline. So here in rainbow, I'm going to say rainbow outline. And so now our stroke around the text label will have a rainbow outline. And if you don't have a UI stroke in your text, it automatically applies that. And if you already have a UI stroke it'll just use that but if you don't have one it'll automatically add one and for our rainbow outline we would actually have to speed this up a lot to actually make it look good so I'm gonna set the speed to 75 and we also now we can use the size and for this I am going to say something like 5 you can see here we now have a UI stroke around the text and it has that rainbow effect it has the size that we put in and then once again the speed everything looks good with our text here and we can mess around with more effects so I'm gonna say easy visuals dot new with our second text label and we're gonna say matrix to have that green black hacker type color and I'm gonna set this speed to 0.5 and then the size I'm just gonna put in 3 and now we can see here we now have this matrix hacker type animation and you would probably want to change the text because it looks cartoony. you'd probably want to change it to something else but you see it still looks really nice and yeah it looks it works and it's really customizable and so let's now get into how you can have that outline around your frames all right so it's basically the same thing you would say easy visuals dot new put in your frame and then you would put in whatever outline you could do the rainbow outline I'm gonna roll with the shine outline just right now and you'll see what it looks like and then I'm gonna put in 75 for our speed size I'll just set that to 5 and then there's this one right here ignore saving objects boolean I'm not 100% sure what this does but I'm just gonna set it to false and then the last thing is we can have a custom color to it so I'm gonna say color 3 dot from RGB I'm gonna put in 78 177 and then 238 so now it has this light blue color like you would see in simulators so now we have this shine outline we have the rainbow outline on our text and also the matrix animation here if you guys want to see all the presets you would just go to your replicated storage go to your easy visuals or wherever it's at open it up and then go down to presets and you'll see all the presets here you can also even open them up and see how they work maybe and yeah you can mess around with these presets and see what you guys want in your games and another thing we can do is get an actual effect from this so we get the effect from 
easyvisuals.new and then what we can say is effect and we can destroy it we can also call pause on it to pause the animation and then we can say resume to resume our animation if it was paused so I'm gonna say something like task dot wait three seconds so it's gonna play for three seconds and then I'm going to call pause on the effect to pause it so here it is playing the animation and then after a little while you can see it pauses it pauses in its place same thing for our other methods if we wanted to unpause it you could say task dot wait I'm gonna wait three seconds and then say effect and I'm gonna say resume so now into our game it should pause and then three seconds later it should go back to normal just like that and then that last one was effect colon destroy and that basically just gets rid of the entire thing so let's test this out I'm gonna say effect and then call destroy on it and then after three seconds it should get rid of the entire effect as you can see right there the UI strokes gone and you know it's back to normal as it was before the animation in this module there are also gradient and stroke classes so we can say something like gradient is equal to easy visuals dot gradient dot new and then we would put in you know our instance and we could put in a color and also a transparency and then from here all of these methods here we can say destroy set offset rotation uh, to actually make your own animation so as you can see here, I opened up one of the presets and there's this gradient class as you can see here and it makes a whole new gradient. You can set the rotation, offset speed and so this is basically how you make custom gradients and also custom stroke effects. But me personally, I think I'll just rock with the presets and also change colors as you could see earlier. So I think I'm just going to really go over the main presets instead of going over the actual classes but you guys can look more into this on the dev forum post and also you can look at the presets to help figure this out and also another cool thing you can do with this module is you can use it in billboard GUIs so you guys can get a billboard GUI in your game and then we can apply those those same presets and same animations to our billboard GUIs so once again we can say easy visuals dot new put in our billboard GUI and then I'm just going to put in the basic rainbow or maybe we'll, we'll say rainbow stroke so it has the rainbow outline and then once again I'm going to put in 0 0.4 and then the size I think I'll just go with 3 once again oh this is my bad I actually did billboard GUI and not the text in the billboard GUI so let me fix this real quick we need to get our text label and then put the text in here Okay, so actually when you say the stroke effects, it actually gives that same effect to the main text and also has it to the stroke around it. So if it has outline in the name, then it's just for the stroke. But the strokes like ghost stroke, gold stroke, and the rainbow stroke, it applies it to both instances. So that's pretty cool. As you can see here, our billboard is working fine. It looks really nice and yeah it works for a lot of things and also if you guys wanted to apply animation to a frame in a billboard GUI you can do that as well it's just really simple you get the frame put it in here and then get whatever preset you want and so I put the ghost effect and as you can see here, it works just fine with our billboard GUI our frame and our billboard GUI and yeah guys this was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the subscribe button I'll see you guys in the next video peace